So Wanda Software has made a lot of game updates, but in those updates, there are those that have impacted the game and really took Truckers of Europe 3 to another level. That's why today I've come with the top eight biggest updates of all time. These updates have made this game even compete with Euro Truck Simulator 2, well known to be a PC game. But before we explore the biggest updates in Toe 3, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as we are close to 10,000 subscribers. Let's ride. At the start, we have the Double Trailers update, which was just released this year, 2024, in the eighth place. This was a very big update, and it went on a very high trend because many players were too long. And a lot of promises were given regarding this update. I know you might see it as a small update, but this was very huge, depending on how long it took for the developers to add this to the game. The Double Trailer update is among the updates that have made Truckers of Europe 3 a number one top game. And for us who really have been watching this game for long, I understand what I'm talking about. Now, in the seventh position on my list, the Ownable Trailers update. This update was released in the last year, 2023, in the month of December, towards the Christmas holidays. Many people really waited so long for this feature to arrive. And it's even the last announced update by Burton. Trust me, this was a serious update and it really had a huge trend. Even now, people prefer this feature and still have a big impact on the game and the fan base. At number six, we have the Stream Legendary Trucks. Who didn't like this update? It was April in the year 2023 when Wanda Software decided to add the Stream Legendary Trucks. And these were the Scania series, but named Stream because of brand terms. The Stream Legendary Trucks were the 1995, 2004, 2009, and 2013 models. Look, who didn't like this update, surely? This update really made a very big impact to game because by then, we only had only five trucks in the game. So adding these four trucks at once was a real banger. In this big update of all time, only trucks were added to the game and some few bug fixes. But if I can remember, this was a very big update. Then, in the fifth place, we have the construction site map update, or you can call it the tubing and off-road map update. This update was also a serious banger coming out in the early 2023, just after the Lech map update, without any compromise. This update brought a new life into the game. From the new challenging route to the beautiful scenery in Tubingen and the animated characters on the construction site. Put these animations really surprised many because no one expected it and uh, seriously huge and it made an impact to the gameplay feeling in the game. I personally really like this update because it was no joke. The new active machines on the site really impressed many and this was a very huge update to the game and to the fan base. The fourth place goes to the Renovate Air Ranger update. The update came out in 2023 in the month of October, after the photo mode feature update. It came out in the moments where everyone was eagerly waiting for it, and it surely made the game more advanced and popular. Bringing these two trucks at once in the game was a serious move, and it really gave a clear passion in the game development by Wanda Software. The newest model of Renault trucks was the most liked. This was because 2023 was the year that Wanda Software really made serious big updates to the game, leading to its superiority. Then here we go to the third place, the Alps and Leash map update. Still in the same year, 2023 in the month of May, that's when this update came out. Unexpectedly, it was a little surprise, but the speed that the developers used to complete this map was insane and everyone was also eagerly waiting for the curved, challenging routes and scenery. The Alps and Mountain Road was a real big update, and it really changed the perspective of how we used to see. The improvements in the challenging road and also the new scenery to look at was not normal, and even not in any other mobile game. This update was really worth the wait. In this, we only got the Lech Town and Mountain Road. <laughs> then 
Then here we go to the second place, and that is the quarry map. This update came out at the end of 2022 in the month of December. It was a very big update because, because of it, we also got the new Sturtgard City. It was the first ever big update in 2022 because we didn't have off-road routes in the earlier versions. This update was seriously huge because that's when the trend of this game started up to now because of the physics and challenging drive through This is one of the updates that has made Wanda software become popular and it's one of the big updates that were worth the wait. I, myself, personally, I really like this update. Then let's go to the biggest update of all time, which is the Gothard Pass map update. This update was just released in early 2024 this year by the month of March. This was a huge update, guys. It came out with two towns added only, but the new unique roads and scenery were next level. From the new water transportation, which was the ferry system, to the new road types and new tunnels, which were added. For sure, this is the biggest update of all time. I have never been bored when driving through the Gotham Pass map. Personally, I like Tremla, but if you're driving from Arolo to any location on the map, you can really enjoy the scenery. 